the Zoom Spot USB stick for digital voice hotspot over amateur radio coming up. You seen that Amazon Fire Stick commercial with Gary Busey? He's like, Amazon Fire Stick! USB Stick! So, <laughs> made me think of that. I don't know why. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Ham Radio 2.0. If this is your first time to join us here, please click on the subscribe button below so that you can keep up with all the videos we post on this, ra on this uh, channel. All the videos we post on this channel. Everything that's new in amateur radio. So most of you probably know what the Zoom Spot is. I've actually got a Zoom Spot around here somewhere that I've never actually put together. I bought it in a kit, and it's sitting on the shelf somewhere. But I've done uh, videos on other hotspots uh, that run Pi Star. Uh, and long story short, a Zoom Spot is a Pi hat that sits on top of a Pi Zero that runs Pi Star and allows you to connect to various digital voice modes. Uh, DMR, D-Star, NXDN, System Fusion, P25, etc. And um, so it's a smaller version of um, the full-blown Raspberry Pi DV Mega with the Pi Hat board or the Northwest Digital board sitting on top of a Pi 3 Plus B board uh, or motherboard. So it's a, it's a smaller version that sits on a Pi Zero. Well, now they've got this USB stick. And this USB stick, let me unplug it. I've actually got it plugged in right here. That, that. Ah, right here. This is what it looks like. That's the USB stick. Comes just like that. It's got a nifty little plastic cover that comes on it like that. Just like that. And you put it in the side here. It plugs into USB. And the coolest thing about it, in my opinion, this is the coolest thing about it here. Now, Zoom Spot and, and this stick here exclusively are sold at HRO. So I'll put the link in the description down below on, on YouTube and on uh, my website at hamradio2.com. So you'll be able to go right to the page. If you visit an HRO uh, sometime soon, go in there and tell them that you saw my video and ask them about the Zoom Zoom Spot USB stick. You don't have to buy one. If you buy one, then especially tell them. But you don't have to buy one. But I'm just saying, hey, go in there and say, hey, I heard about this thing on Ham Radio 2.0. Can you show it to me? So, <clears throat> so this one here. Uh, but this is the coolest thing about it that I that I think, uh, because this is HRO's website right here, and it will run on Blue DV, which uh, a lot of these uh, USB sticks run on. Blue DV, uh, the Northwest Digital runs on Blue DV, but it also run on Pi Star. Now that may be true of the Northwest Digital stick. I've actually got a Northwest Di Digital USB stick around here somewhere. I think it's over there, um, and I'll be doing a video review on it upcoming. But and so m maybe it runs on Pi Star, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I haven't toyed with it quite yet. But this one will run on Pi Star. Or Blue DV, so that means you can r use it one of two ways. You can have a Raspberry Pi, just the Pi board, install Pi Star on your micro USB, and just put it together in a regular Raspberry Pi case. Okay, no Pi Hat, no hundred and thirty dollar DV Mega board, uh, and then just have the Raspberry Pi running and stick this USB stick into one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi, and then and you're done. Okay. Or you can use it on a laptop or a tablet, running Blue DV for Windows. Okay, so it'll it's it works in both worlds. It works on the Raspberry Pi, under Pi Star, and it works under Windows, running Blue DV. So, for the purposes of today's demonstration, I'm going to show you Blue DV. This is the Pi Star setup screen here. So you go into Pi Star. Let's go make that a little bit bigger for you guys and. Why do that? So you would, you know, radio modem type, zoom spot, USB stick. I guess that's an option in Pi Star. I've never really looked for it. Power it off and on, and that's about it. That's all you got to do for Pi Star. This one here is what we're doing today. Basically, you just plug it in. And you know what? I didn't have to install any drivers. 
I just plugged it in. It did the USB bonk thing. And guess what? This is all your settings right here. Set your call sign. Set your serial port for whatever it comes up. When I set my serial port right here, uh, boom, it came up. Let me, okay, let me turn that off then. Uh, when I go here, it comes up. There it is. Okay. So if you look, serial port COM10, that's the only option available. So I didn't have to go through and go into device manager and figure out which COM port it was on and choose that. That's the only one that came up. So I just said, okay, well, that's the only one there. Let's see if it works. And of course it did. So it auto detected it. This is Windows 10, in, uh, in other words. So it auto detected it for Windows 10, just like that. Serial, DMR, and I've got it set up to connect to Brandmeister Master Server 3101. And there we go right there. <clears throat> As you can see, it says down here at the bottom left, you're logged into DMR. And there's my frequency. It says firmware is Zoom Spot version 1.4.14 underscore or something. Just uh, don't know. I have not tried this on D-Star or on Fusion. You know me, I'm a DMR guy. KC5, HWB testing on Texas chat. Now, if I go over here to Brandmeister hose line, there's my key up right there. I'll key up again. KC5, HWB testing on Texas chat. There you go. That's uh, talk group number 31480. They call it a Texas chat. They initiated that talk group to eliminate people from using 3148 as a rag chew. And now, I, as my understanding is, no one's ever on 3148 Brandmeister anymore. Or very few people. I don't know if that's true or not. I never get on that talk group uh, because we have the original 3148 in Texas that's not piped over to the rest of the world. So, <clears throat> here's a settings for D-Star. Uh, and, of course, if someone was talking, I would be able to see them come back. Yep, here we go. Texas Nexus. The Texas Nexus is the local Texas Fusion. Uh, Texas Nexus is a wires X room, and there's a lot of Fusion repeaters in between North Texas down to San Antonio and Austin, over to Houston, that are connected into that talk group full time. And then they have a bridge from that talk group to to DMR. From they have a bridge from the wires X room to DMR, I should say. KC5 HWB testing on the Texas Nexus. And there's that. And we'll see if we get any activity come back. There we go. Okay, John. I appreciate it, man. I'm testing out a new hotspot, uh, the Zoom... Zoom spot uh, USB stick. Just wanted to see what uh, the blue DV screen looked like when it uh, came back to me. Appreciate it. KC5 HWB. And of course it shows over here. That's the last station heard. Yeah. Have a good one. AE5JO. AE5JO. And he's coming in through, I assume he's coming in through Fusion. Uh, well, actually right there it says mode DMR. Well... Yeah, that's because <laughs> that's because it's coming to me as DMR. I could turn on D-Star and Fusion also, as long as I had different different uh, um, frequencies set for each mode. I suppose that would be fine. So there you go. That is the Zoom USB stick running Blue DV, and it can run Pi Star also. Available at HRO. Uh, I think they're about the same. You know, I was talking about how it's yeah. I was talking about how it's cheaper than a DV Mega Board, which those are about 130 bucks. This one's 109.95, so it's a little bit cheaper. I mean, you're still paying for the transceiver built into the little stick, so it's still the price of three <laughs> three Pi or three Raspberry Pi boards. Um, but you know, such is life. So you can plug it into a, a Windows machine. 
uh, and run Blue DV, or you can plug it into a Raspberry Pi running Pi Star. That's just a standalone Pi without the extra Pi hat on top. If you if you have a Raspberry Pi case you really like, and it's all nice and enclosed and looks really cool, then plug that in there. You don't have to take it apart and get an extra case for it and put a Pi hat, put a daughter board on top of the Raspberry Pi. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, this video uh, is airing on a Monday, and this following. Thursday, May 2nd, will be my two-year, two-year, <laughs> no, will be my four-year anniversary video. So be sure and watch that. I got some giveaways going on and um, got some cool new stuff happening. So 73, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.